Hello future makers, welcome to Teacherpreneur. It said that maths is not about numbers, equations, algorithms or algebra, but it's more about understanding. Maths is usually considered as a very very difficult subject. As a teacher, it's your duty to make anything simplified for the kids so that they learn it better and retain it for a longer period of time. In today's video, I'm going to show you an actual demo lesson of how to teach fractions to primary kids. I've tried and compiled all the things in this video that I think are very essential for a demo lecture. So make sure you watch the whole video and let me know how did you like it in the comments after you finish watching. Hello kids, good morning. How are you all today? Doing good? I have a question for you all. How many of you like pizzas? I think quite a few of you all like pizza. So today, I've got a pizza in the classroom. Can you all share and eat it? Yeah? See, here is the pizza that I've got for all of you. Do you all like pizzas? Do you all like this pizza? Awesome. Like you all like pizza, even I love pizza. So I thought, why not get a pizza in the classroom? Did you all like this idea? Awesome. Now, can you please get up? Yeah. Tell me, how many pieces of pizza can you see here? Okay. He says seven. Should we all count together? Okay. Let's start with this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many pieces of pizza are there? Eight. I'm just writing it on the blackboard, okay? How many pieces of pizza did you all see? Eight pieces. Okay. Just like you all like pizza, I told you, even I am a pizza lover and I am very hungry also. Are you all hungry? Recess is just after one more lecture. Come on, you all can manage it for 40 minutes. I was very hungry. So I actually ate one piece of the pizza. Because I was hungry, you know, like you all. Okay, now tell me how many parts of pizzas can we all see? Not like this, I will ask one of you. Second last bench? Yeah. Can you please tell me how many pieces of pizza can you see now? Seven. Okay. Do you all agree that there are seven pieces of pizza now? Yes? Okay. So, how many pieces of pizza can you see now? Seven. Okay. I understood that first there were eight pieces of pizza. Then, teacher ate one. And then, you all could see only seven pieces of pizza. But, you know now. You all can manage. I am a bit more hungry. So, I ate one more piece of pizza. Now, the pizza looks something like this. Can you all see that? Yeah. So, now, can you all count together how many pieces of pizza are there? Together, together. Very nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. So now you all think that there are six pieces of pizza. How many pieces were initially there? Eight pieces. Very good. Now, I think we can gradually say that now there are seven pieces of pizza left out of eight pieces. Do you all agree to me? Awesome. After teacher ate one more piece, I think there are six pieces of pizza left out of eight. Do you all agree with me? Awesome. So, today I am going to teach you a new concept of maths. But before I tell you what the concept is about, let me tell you what is it called. So, anything that is expressed like this is called a fraction in maths. What is it called? Fraction. Very good. What is it called? Fraction. Very good. One more time with me. What is it called? Fraction. Very good. Okay. Now we all know what are we learning about and what is it called. 
I'm going to teach you in depth about fractions today. Are you all excited to learn about fractions and divisors? Let's learn together. Now, listen to the teacher carefully. Anything that is expressed in the form of something out of something or numerator divided by denominator is called a fraction. Do you all understand what is fraction? See, in real terms, if we refer to the upper number as p and if we refer to the lower number as q so what did teacher teach you today anything that can be expressed in the form of p by q is called a fraction do you all understand anything that is expressed in the form of p by q is called a fraction can we all repeat together what is a fraction anything that can be expressed in the form of p by q is called a fraction awesome third bench can you tell me what is a fraction correct she is saying anything that can be expressed in the form of p by q is called a fraction do you think she is right very good let's clap our hands for her okay thank you thank you Thank you, dear. Please sit down. Now you all have to tell me where have you seen something like this in your real life? One by one, one by one. Yes. Very good. Listen to what he is saying. He is saying that, ma'am, whenever we get mark sheets on the test paper, it is written seven out of ten, six out of ten. That is what a fraction is. Do you all agree? Have you seen such numbers on your test papers? Very good. That is exactly what you call a fraction. Okay. As you all say that you have seen something like 8 out of 10 on your question papers or test papers as well. Correct? Very good. Now, you all have to observe these numbers carefully and answer a few questions for me, okay? Whomever I point out will answer. You all don't have to answer it loudly and together, okay? Perfect. Yes, can you please get up? Tell me, out of these numbers, what do you observe? Where is the bigger number? At the bottom. Very good. Do you all agree that the bigger number is at the bottom? Okay. Please sit up. You? Yes. Please get up. Can you please tell me which number is at the top? The smaller number. Very good. Do you all think it's a smaller number at the top? Exactly. Please sit up. So, in this fraction, we all have observed that the smaller number is at the top. And the bigger number is at the bottom. Do you all know the reason for this? Whenever we are saying about fractions, the denominator is always about total, complete, whole or full. As soon as I entered the class, what did I ask you at the first place? How many pieces of pizza can you see? Wherein we counted together the total number of pieces in the pizza. Remember? So that means at the bottom we always have total, whole or maximum. That's why it's the bigger number. Whenever you have a test, the total marks of the test are 10. Out of which you have scored 8 marks. Total number of pieces in the pizza were 8. Out of which teacher ate 1 piece. So how many pieces are left? 7. Total number of pieces in the pizza were 8. Out of which teacher ate 2. So how many pieces of pizza are left now? 6 out of 8. Am I clear? See there are 3 things that we have learned today. What is a fraction? Which number comes at the top? Which number comes at the bottom? And why? Now let us just revise. I will ask you one by one and you all have to tell me. So that I know how much you all have paid attention in the class. Okay? Okay. Now, 
teacher will ask you a few questions to know how much you all have understood before that let me just rub whatever is on the board and now you all have to tell me whatever i ask one by one okay give me a thumbs up awesome now whenever i ask you is she correct you just have to give me a thumbs up if you don't agree you have to give me a thumbs down okay perfect you my dear please get up what do you mean by a fraction okay he is saying anything that can be expressed or showed in the form of p upon q is called a fraction is he correct okay you my dear please get up what kind of a number do we have at the bottom of the fraction big girl number okay the girl beside her please get up do you think she is right do we have the big girl number at the bottom okay so you tell me that why do we have the big girl number at the bottom and she is saying that we have the bigger number at the bottom because it represents the total do you all agree very nice please sit down thank you okay you yes my dear you tell me do we have smaller number at the bottom or at the top he is saying we have the smaller number at the top who all agree very good please sit down yes why do we have the smaller number at the top okay she is saying because it is the part that we are talking about do you all agree thank you. sit down very good okay so now you are understand that fraction is anything that can be expressed in the terms of p upon q where p represents a part that's why it's at the top it's the numerator and q represents the whole that's why it's a bigger number and it is at the bottom are you all okay with this awesome thank you all for homework you all have to find out which other places do we use fractions in and tomorrow when i come to the class you have to tell me okay i can ask anybody from the whole class so you all have to come prepared with at least two things where we use fractions till then okay that's it thank you i'm sure if you give a demo like this you'll definitely be selected so make sure you make your demo as interactive and as creative as shown in this video We've already made a video about tips on how to give a demo lecture. The link is over here and in the i button below. Make sure you watch it after you finish watching this. Video. I've also made a video on how to give a demo about phonics for pre-primary students. The link is in the i button and in the description box below. So make sure you watch all these videos. I'm sure it definitely help you if you're about to give your demo lecture. Thank you for watching the whole video. I hope you all really liked it. If you like today's video, do hit the like button. Comment and tell us which more subject demo videos would you like us to make. Share this video with your teacher friends and family and subscribe to Teacher Prana for more such videos. See you soon.